So, Marie Harf, uh, he said everything that is broken in our country can be fixed. Every problem can be solved. Our citizens deserve this, so why not join forces and finally get it done? What do you say? Look, Donald Trump had a good night, uh, but I agree with the comments that, that others have made on the panel. I think it's too soon to say that we're in Donald Trump 2.0. And tomorrow when he wakes up, the next time there's a press story he doesn't like, the next time he gets some pushback from congressional Republicans on something, we will see. You know, I remember during the presidential campaign, the number of times he made speeches where he stuck to the prompter, he sounded presidential, and we all said, maybe this is him actually turning over a new leaf, and then he was back to his old ways. And I also agree with Dana and others that the rubber's going to meet the road now on something like defense spending. You know, George W. Bush, in his first address to Congress in 2001, said, we're going to let strategy determine spending, not the other way around. And tonight we heard a lot about numbers and spending when it comes to defense particularly. I think he's going to get pushback from congressional Republicans on some of this. And we don't know how he'll pay for it. We don't know what will drive the strategy going forward. And those are really big questions that weren't answered tonight. But it was there a good night. There are huge questions. Yeah, there are huge mm -hmm. questions. But you say it's a big night. But let's say that this is the president that we're dealing with now. Let's take off the table that he might have a Twitter <laughs> eruption later or some <laughs> other reaction. Let's deal we're, with the president that we have hours. right now. All right, <laughs> yeah. let's deal with the president we just heard. Exactly. And what specifically, Marie, will Democrats say, you know what? I can buy in on that. I'm in. And for the 10 Senate Democrats who are up for re-election in red mm -hmm. states, where do they say, you know, we better start making a deal? Well, I saw one of them, Joe Manchin, stand up and clap a lot uh, when, when President Trump talked about coal miners and the work he was doing there. I think the obvious place is infrastructure. You've heard even people like Chuck Schumer say positive things about infrastructure. I worry that that's not, even though he mentions it as a top priority, that that is, is falling below other priorities like tax reform, like dealing with health care, uh, like military spending in the budget process that will take much more time than they think. Things like infrastructure, I, th I think, are important. Obviously, we all want to defeat ISIS. That is something that we in the Obama administration were very focused on. We'll see where that goes. I think Democrats can play a constructive role in that debate as well. And the proof will really be in whether there's meat behind this rhetoric tonight. You know, earlier, earlier the administration sort of leaked out some, some test balloons or trial balloons about a possible overhaul of immigration. This is something we were dealing with on a bipartisan basis during the Obama administration. If that is real and serious, you could get some Democrats to participate in a process to actually address immigration reform instead of how President Trump has talked about it in terms of deportation <laughs> and, and cracking down uh, if you do it in a really comprehensive way. I'm not confident right. that will actually happen. But you never know. Marie, you never thank know. you very much. <laughs>